The Cases page is a very powerful tool inside the Avid Support Center. It allows you to easily create, edit, and manage cases online so you don't have to wait on the phone. Not only is it the easiest way to contact support, but it's the fastest. When you create a case using the Avid Support Center, your case is instantly viewable by over 250 CS representatives. You can rest assured you're going to get a fast response and a response by a representative that has seen your case and has a game plan on how to move forward. When entering the Cases page, you have a number of view options. Let's go over those first. Under View, you have All Cases, which will allow you to see all cases that were created, open and closed, under your account. All Cases and Parent Group, if you belong to a sister station with a parent company, All Cases and Parent Group will allow you to see all cases created by your station, as well as your parent company. My Account Closed Cases will show you all your closed cases. My Account Open Cases will show you all open cases. Recently Viewed Cases will show you all cases that you might have been working on recently. Let's create a case by clicking on Create New Case in the middle of the page. This page will ask you what type of case that you want to create, either video or audio. When choosing video or audio, please choose the type of software that you are using. Even if you're using video software, you might be having an audio problem. In that case, please choose video because you're using video software. Click Continue. When filling out the form that follows, the required fields are marked with a red star. Please fill out as much information as possible. In doing so, our support representatives will be able to better assess the issue and come up with a plan of action quicker. The system ID field is not mandatory, however if one isn't provided, there is a two day response time, so please be aware of this. Please call support for all urgent matters. When filling out the form, choose submit when you're done. After you fill out the form, you'll be brought to the knowledge base page. This will give you suggestions according to your description, so you might want to have a quick look through this list to see if there's anything that pertains to your issue. You might find something that solves it. If you don't find anything here, simply choose Submit to Support. Please note that if you do not hit Submit to Support, your case will not be submitted to a representative. After you submit to Support, you'll be brought to the Case Edit page. It's a good idea to do a quick scan through to make sure that all the information is correct. If you see anything that needs to be corrected, simply choose Edit and correct the desired fields. So we've chosen Submit to Support, we have went through the Edit page and corrected what needed to be corrected, and now we're brought back to the Cases page. The Cases page looks a little bit different now that we have a case here. You can see the case that we just submitted right here. In order to edit the case, simply click on the case number and you'll be brought back to the edit page. After submitting a case to support, a CS representative will review your case, come up with a game plan, and send a response back to you. You'll receive that response inside your email, and you can simply reply to that email to send a response back. Another way you could do it is you could come into your cases page, click on the case number, and then scroll down the page to see case responses. As you can see, we have received a response from a CS representative, and to reply back, we can simply choose New Case Response. Once you choose New Case Response, you can fill in your response, and then when you're done, hit Save. Let's quickly go over this case response. The CS representative wants us to run a particular test and attach the results to the case. He also goes on to say that if we're unsure about how to run this test, that we can reach out and call him, he left a number here, or we could send a case response giving him the best way to reach us so that he can call and walk us through. Let's pretend that we know how to run that test. Attaching the file is easy. Under the case response there's a button for attach file, but before I do that I want to show you the other way. So if we go back to the case and scroll down you'll see Attachments and Attach File button right here. I'm going to click this one. To attach the file, we want to simply choose the file. In this case, it's going to be on the desktop, and it's DXTest. I'll click Choose. Once I've clicked Choose, click Attach File. It's going to go through a little loading phase. 
it's done. And then when we're done, simply choose done. Once you choose done, you'll be brought to the case edit page. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page to attachments, you'll see that DX test has been attached to the case.